What's up, boys and girls? Ryan Buckeye, Fitness Informant, founder and CEO here alongside Fitness Informant VP. Right? Yeah. yeah. G. Yeah, that's what you told me. Welcome that's to our YouTube channel, fitnessinformant.com, here for a 100% honest, no bullshit review. Morphogen Nutrition, Alphagen, what they call their high energy pre workout. Morphogen Nutrition is a brand that I like to call like the kitchen sink brand because they give you everything, including the kitchen sink, and a lot of their formulas. It's, it's loaded. Everything, every single one of the products is loaded. So this product review might take us like four hours to get through because there's so much in this. But we're going to talk about the product on five different categories. First, we're going to talk about the ingredient profile. Second, effectiveness. Third, we're going to talk about mixability. Fourth, we're going to talk about flavor. And then finally, we're going to talk about value. So I'll start us off here. First ingredient at a eight gram dosage. It, a two one ratio is L-citrulline malate. This is going to be citrulline and malic acid. Essentially, you're going to be eating two parts citrulline, obviously, to one part malic acid. Now, this is gonna help induce larger fuller pumps. Eight grams is a solid dosage because it's gonna go ahead and yield you above the amount of the three to five grams of citrulline, which you wanna look for. Malic acid has been shown to potentially increase performance. Um, so that is a it's good debatable ingredient right there with the malic acid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want me to go next? Yeah, we'll right. to next up, we have creatine monohydrate oh. and five grams. Uh, this is an ingredient that you kinda of wanna take every day. Uh, we do like that it is at the clinical five gram dose in here. This can help with performance, strength, endurance, a lot of things. Again, you want to take this every day. It is nice because you will get your creatine dose in here. Uh, simple, convenient in your pre-workout. It's actually the most well-studied probably sports nutrition ingredient on the planet. Thousands of studies on it. 3.2 grams of beta alanine. Beta alanine, the, the ingredient that gives you the tingles. Also has both lactic acid, helps with muscular endurance. Solid dosage of a betaine or B beta Alanine, excuse me. Next ingredient here, I'll go L-tyrosine, which I mean, I should let G talk about this because he's gonna do backflips. Give me three, that. three grams of L-tyrosine. Tyrosine is a precursor to dopamine and the chemical means in the brain. Uh, dopamine is, of course, your uh, feel-good hormone, mm -hmm. as we all know. Three grams is a high dose. You see this anywhere from 750 milligrams to 1.5 grams. That's good. Three grams, you're definitely gonna feel this. You're gonna feel great. Next ingredient in here is a choline donor, actually known as DMAE. No, not DMAA, no, not DMHA. DMAA, yeah, don't get much it safer, much safer. 750 milligrams, this is a pretty high dose. I think the highest I've ever seen was 800. 800 in, okay, we can't talk yeah. about them here. But uh, 750, that is a strong dose. You're definitely gonna feel this one. DMAA. It's an ingredient that's been studied, I believe, in Alzheimer's patients as well, right? In terms of like memory loss and trying to help like that. I can't think of the studies right yeah. now. Uh, we went into this raw. Next up, we have the Kunipurines. That is a precursor to Dopamine as well. It's a source of L-dopa. They have a 98% standardization in there. L-dopa, direct precursor to dopamine, your other feel good hormone. You're gonna feel great off of this. Yeah, it, your, your mood's gonna feel great. Your focus is gonna be great because you're also gonna get 600 milligrams of alpha size, alpha GPC at a 50% yield. So you're getting 300 milligrams of alpha size, which is gonna be um, you know, a trademarked version of alpha GPC, potentially more stable. So that way, because alpha GPC uh, can break down, actually, it can actually produce clumping in some of your products too. But 300 milligrams at a full yield is gonna be great for cognition and to help you uh, improve your overall focus in the gym. Next ingredient here, 250 milligrams of teacrine yielding 100 milligrams. Again, another solid dosage of teacrine. Teacrine is a stimulant-like substance, similar to caffeine uh, provided provided to us by Compound Solutions. I mean, 100 milligrams yield of teacrine is actually a pretty high dosage. I mean, a lot of times what companies will do is they'll throw 100 milligrams on a label, but you know it's gonna be tasteless teacrine at 40%, so you're actually getting 40 milligrams. Here you're getting the full 100 milligrams, which you want. You typically want, right, you want like 100 milligrams of dynamine, which G will talk about next, with about 50 milligrams of teacrine uh, in that combination, you're getting 100 milligrams of teacrine here. Just remember, teacrine too has a bell curve. Um, it starts out as a sedative, then it gives you energy at around the 75, 150 milligram dose, but then it can also, after that, it's a sedative again. Uh, Dynamine is actually very similar to T3, right. which is up next. The combo can actually, this is hit or miss with people. You're either gonna like this combo, you're gonna feel great off of it, or it's gonna put you to sleep, uh, give you some brain fog, make you feel lethargic. This is also at 100 milligrams, that's a great dose. Dynamine on its own is great, especially at 100 milligrams, really puts you in tune with your body. Great for energy, both are actually from the same plant, I believe. Yes. Um, they both work very similar for energy. Dynamine hits you fast within 50 minutes. Tea green takes about a half hour, 45. It's also gonna help prevent a crash. Both taste awful, by the way, off, which we'll get into. Uh, even the tasteless, it's still gonna suck at 100 milligrams yield. Next up, everybody's favorite uh, energy booster, caffeine and hydrous. Do we really need to go over that? Yeah, you got 200 milligrams. That's a nice, solid dose. They didn't have to go over the 300 mark. 200 is actually quite low. 
Yeah, yeah it's, it, like, it's well, but what, there's a reason, right? Because there's also 200 milligrams of Iria Gerensis, or however you want to pronounce it. I mean, that's, I, 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 I hear it pronounced Iria Gerensis, or Iria Gerensis, whatever, 200 milligrams. Um, so it's PEA. Yeah, PEA. So um, that also can help boost, that in combination with caffeine is a really good combination. Now, you're not going to find EJ a lot in products anymore, so it's actually kind of nice if you like that ingredient here with more fidgety nutrition. I personally do like EJ, I don't know what your take is on it. I do like, I like it. the euphoric feeling off. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you also get 200 milligrams of theobromine. So theobromine also, again, can help. It's like a, a vasal relaxer that also can help with potential with caffeine and a stimulant-like effect. They're from the same family of both xanthins, so remember that. Xanthins, I mean, which means probably nothing to you guys. It means a little bit more to us. But uh, G's favorite ingredient then here too, I'll let you, or second favorite ingredient. He loves it. Theanine. Theanine. Shut up. <laughs> Theanine, uh, this can help with anxiety. This uh, anxiolytic, I believe is the word. It's basically, it's for those people who don't like a lot of stimulants, but they want that energy. It's going to help curb any jitters, anxiety. Uh, 200 milligrams is actually quite high. Some people might not like this dose. You definitely going to feel it. Uh, we'll get into that in the effectiveness section. Next up, we have some nephrine. I've been this can help with energy. It's doing a lot of fat burners. Uh, it's kind of like a beta agonist in a way, a very mild, very, very, very mild one. That's what people substitute ephedrine for these yeah. days. It's not the same. Uh, the last three ingredients, uh, you want to go over the next two, actually? We're very simple. Right here. Oh, estrogen, bioperin are, are going to be the next two. So those, you're not going to really feel those. It's going to help with ingredient absorption. Uh, they are uh, going to be 50 milligrams of estrogen or 10 milligrams of bioperin. Great dosages there. Basically just saying like, hey, the stuff that they put in here is going to work harder for you. It's going to be absorbed a little bit more. And then finally, huprazine at 200 micrograms, uh, you know, in combination with alpha GPC. Too much of that in terms of combination can actually induce brain fog at 200 micrograms here. Here, with the 300 milligrams of alpha GPC, you should be fine. But it's a good dosage of huprazine, which is again another cognition or cognition um, to put elevating. It, to put it simply, it prevents choline from being broken out of the brain. This that's has not choline in there. That's not that's that's simple. Choline is your neurotransmitter. Anyway, long story short, loaded profile. Loaded profile. You're really gonna you're gonna get energy. You're gonna get focus. Um, you know where where it lacks. If anywhere in this thing, it, it lacks on pump ingredients. Um, you know, obviously, the citrulline is fine, right? But you get a solid dose of citrulline. Yeah, there, there's a, a, a purpose for that because they do make the pump product as well that goes along with this. So energy focus is going to be good in terms of endurance and, and power output. It, it, it's you know fair, but I'd say the two main benefits you're going to get are going to be, uh, in my opinion, energy and focus off the profile. I agree with that. I agree with that. And then that goes right into the effectiveness section. I mean, we both used it. Um, we both really like it. Um, and for me, I don't necessarily need a pre-workout with pumping it because I'm always going to couple it with a pump product. So I do look for good, solid, clean energy, not that cracked out feeling, didn't get that, and good focus. And your focus, um, you know, not where it's like, if you have the jitters from some caffeine, sometimes your focus is also jittery. You don't get that with this. You're going to get great energy and great focus. Uh, I agree. I usually like to break down pre-workouts and like pump, focus, energy, sometimes performance, but that's a, that could come down to a lot more factors. Uh, the energy on this is really good. It's very, it's very strong, but because of the theanine in there, you don't yeah. feel overstimulated. It's not overpowering. You don't feel cracked out, but you feel like you took a strong pre-workout. The pumps are certainly there. Uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're there. add something to it. Correct. Um, as far as focus is really good on this, mind muscle connection is great. Super high doses of choline, DMAE kind of puts you in your own little world in my experience. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a yeah. light form lateral. And then, yeah, there's no crash to speak of. No. Uh, the T cream and diamine really put you in tune with the body. This is a very, this is a very good pre-workout for like straight up energy and yeah. focus. Uh, and yeah, it's very stacking too. Yeah. So if you want pumps, just add something to it. It does do well on its own. You don't need a strong pump every single day. Right. We can actually have the flavor next if you want. All right, flavor, peach rings is the only one we've had. Yeah. Um, it would be good. It's good peach rings. However, there is a bitterness to it in the background. This is probably due to the diamine and tea cream. Uh, they're both horrible on their own, awful. I have dry scoop tea cream. It's not fun. It's super bitter and it's not in your face there, but it's like in the background. It's noticeable. It's not bad, but if it weren't there, it would be like a nine out of 10. Yeah, at the end of the day, it does taste like peach rings. Okay, let's, let's be, so it matches the flavor on the, on the, the label. It's peach rings. Um, there's a slight off taste to it because again, you've got tasteless tea cream and dynamine and, and for the record, like G said, they're not tasteless. They're hard to flavor, so I think given what they actually have here for dosages, they did a really good job of flavoring this given yep. the ingredients that's in this, but you still get that off taste a little bit in the back end, a little bit of bitterness. You get the tart up front from the peach rings, but you know, it, it, again, I'm, I'm the type of guy that doesn't sip on my pre-workouts, I typically will chug it. 
Um, I'm the know, opposite, by the and way. And you like to sip on yours. And so the ingredient or the instructions say, you know, mix it with, with like 10 to 12 ounces of water, which we're gonna show you here in a second. So if it's too strong, I mean, you can obviously use more water, you can use less water and chug it, you can call it a day. It's not a make or break. Like you're not gonna not buy this because the, the flavor is not, it's not to the point where it's bad enough not to buy it. It's, it, it's good. It, I'm just not gonna tell you that it's like super enjoyable. Compared to what else is on the market, there are better peach products out there. Still, if you were to just drink this and forget about it, you're like, you're gonna forget about it right when you, if the energy starts to hit. Correct. Oh, worth it. And on the screen here, we'll show you the mixability here as we mix this up actually, and the 10 to 12 ounces of water like they mentioned. You're gonna get cloudy, you're gonna get some particles. I mean, the serving size on this is what? How big is the serving size on this? 24.8 24.8 grams. I mean, that's a massive serving size for a pre-workout. And a lot of the ingredients that are used in this, they're not gonna be super soluble in water. So it's okay, but you don't get clumps. I never got clumps from No clumps to speak of, just stuff on the sides of your shaker. Right, right which I think is almost any pre-workout, guys. Yeah. So just swish it around as you drink it. Uh, you should be fine, but still, it is something we have to point out. Right. And value on this thing, uh, you know, after talking to G a little bit more about what we got here, because it's a 20 serve, correct? 20 uh, servings. And it's 40, $48 dollars per, everything on Morphogen's site is $48. I mean, that's ridiculous, actually. Give us really what's in this for ingredients. I don't know how Ben and Morphogen Nutrition makes a lot of money off of it, because 48 bucks, couple that with code and format, it's going to knock off almost five bucks. You are just, just above $40 for a 20 serve, just over $2 a serving for an absolutely loaded pre-workout. I don't know how you can go wrong. This is a great value. Like I almost feel bad. What do we? I forget what we gave it on the written review. Some of the eights, but it could be a nine if you compare it to like every other loaded pre workout on the market. It's actually at a better price. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the average going rate on a twenty serve pre workout is going to be always between forty five and fifty bucks. Some even fifty five, but not all of those are loaded like this one is. So in terms of value, if, if you look at the overall ingredient profile, the effectiveness. Everything that goes into a pre-workout, if you're looking for a pre-workout that's really good on energy, really good on focus, solid on pumps, and overall is gonna give you a great workout experience, I think Alpha Gin here is gonna be a solid choice from anybody. Uh, I agree with that. If you look past the taste, which isn't perfect, it's not bad, uh, the mixability issues, like the stuff sticking on the sides, if you can look past that, this is probably one of the top tier pre-workouts. Oh, 100%. Let's, let's, we have to be, be honest with it. Morphogen Nutrition, loaded product, there's nothing new there. No. You know, this, you know, you're gonna see this theme across the Morphogen Nutrition line, and everything's 48 bucks, so value, it's, you know, it's yeah, 100%. So good. If you want a little bit more detail on this review, look below in the description box for the link. It takes you to fitnessmore.com for the written review that she put together. If you want to purchase this product, there'll be a link below as well as long as that as well as that coupon code that'll knock off 10%. Make sure you follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and uh, check us or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the subscribe now button here below for more. Found by G's Pizza. For more reviews, rankings, deals, news, work with G's nutrition plans, visit us on our official website, online, fitnessinformers.com.